Ann Kapanke of La Crosse is now the first state Republican to feel the backlash of the budget repair bill. Margot Spann has more on the efforts now to recall Kapanke. Margot. That's right, Eric. In less than a year, Senator Kapenke went from a potential U.S. representative to possibly being ousted from the state Senate. More than two dozen people came from La Crosse to de deliver a recall petition to the Government Accountability Board. A spokesperson for the group claims it didn't take them long to collect more than 21,000 signatures. You know, we knew we were, we were pulling out great numbers, but to have it done in less than a month and to get the, actually the flood of people who are coming in, I mean, even today I have people that said, oh, I still want to sign the petition. Can we still bring petitions forward? So we certainly are not saturated yet in La Crosse, but we have the number that we, we need. The director of the Government Accountability Board says Senator Kapenke has 10 days to challenge the recall. Then the group leading the recall will have five days to challenge. After that, Sen the senator will get another two days to review the challenge. The director of the Government Accountability Board says before this recall against Kapenke, the largest recall they had handled was around 14,000 signatures. He says because of the size of this recall effort, the deadlines will likely be extended. All right, a story will continue to follow. Margot Spann reporting. Margot, thank you very much.